What's going on everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Munchie Meal Time. Today we're going to be giving our twist on the traditional Vietnamese sandwich, aka Bun Mi. Alright Johnny, what are you making for us today? I'm going to be taking your traditional Bun Mi and turning it up big boy style into a pizza! First component of a Bun Mi is the Bun Mi. So you got your French bread. This is literally a translation for a Vietnamese baguette. This is something that was introduced from the French during the colonial times. So the difference between this and the typical French baguette is a little bit area, a lot more crusty on the outside. Secondly, we have your pate. Something that you probably didn't even know was in the Bun Mi. Pate is traditionally made with pork liver. Did you say liver? Ha ha! Wee oui, wee. Oui. Let's get to everybody's favorite part. The meat! Just to get right into you guys, we have the tut nung, the literal translation, grilled meat. In this particular one, we have pork. I just, I just ate that growing up. Yeah. When I was young, I used to sneak in the middle of the night downstairs. I would unwrap that, you know, that leaf. The green, the green leaf? Yeah. I would just. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna be moving on to the fresh veggies right here. We got some cilantro, we got the jalapenos. Ooh, it's hot! And then we got the pickled uh, carrots and daikon. This is what adds that freshness. Kind of like you were saying, a balance to the pate and to the meat. And then we got some onions, and then we got the cucumbers. These are things that you could get on the side, or you could get them just in the bun meat when you order. So, it's really up to you. Yo, I get them with veggies, but jalapenos gotta be on the side. All right, Johnny, now that we've broken down what's in a bun meat, you gotta tell us how you're gonna flip it into a pizza. Oh yeah! This is actually an Indian style flatbread called naan. I decided that's gonna bring a nice little crustiness, just like a traditional bun meat would. Next portion that we're gonna have is gonna be the pate. And the pate, you definitely don't wanna just use the pate by itself. Traditionally, um, you have a little bit of Maggi seasoning, a little bit of black pepper, maybe a little bit of fish sauce as well too. Ooh. All right, guys. So now we got the pate mix. Let's lather it on. Like some cocoa butter. Like lather. lather. All right, guys. Next step on to layering the pizza, the meat. So I'm gonna use every single meat that you guys hear today, from the ham, cheese head, to the bologna. I'm um, also Woo! gonna be using the grilled pork. So this is a combo pizza. This is gonna be the supreme. I ate this. All right, guys. Now that we got the meat chopped up. Let's layer it on. So typically with the Vietnamese sandwich, they usually take it light on the meat. I know this sounds crazy, but today I'm gonna let these guys get a little wild, put whatever they want on it. Tan looks like he's going a little light. Richie looks like he's getting a little meaty on him. So guys, with the uh, the vegetables, we're gonna put that on last. Go ahead and just put on wherever you guys like. And we can't have a pizza without cheese. So what y'all know about this though? Everybody get your cow on. Everybody, everybody get your cow on. Uh, I got this. The laughing cow cheese, creamy Swiss with French onions. So I thought I'd add a nice little touch to that. Put them on the side. I got some going in the middle. Some little surprise for you guys going in the middle right there. A lot of surprises in this video. Okay. So I like Tan's presentation here. No offense to you, Richie. Richie looks like it's a hefty big man, six foot five meal right you there. You know, my my theory is when it hits the oven, it's gonna just melt all over the okay, place. Okay, okay, I like. So what I'm gonna do is also, while we're waiting for the pizza to cook while I'm frying this egg, my boys look a little thirsty. Y'all thirsty? I got a girlfriend. So we got something special for you guys today. We're gonna switch it up. Um, this is a Vietnamese drink that you don't see too much. It's called the soda. So guy. Oh. You got the condensed milk, you got the club soda, you got the raw egg. Instead of using the typical club soda, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of fresh lime juice and also Sprite. So you can't have a soda so hope guy without the egg. Ooh. Boom. I like it how it just be hitting the condensed milk. Too. Oh, that yeah. Johnny. Mm. Taryn, you go ahead first, man. <laughs> that no. milky, milky, huh? Wow. Creamy. I'm surprised it's not too sweet. I feel like the... Even with the Sprite? Even with the Sprite, it's, like it's, not, it's, not, it's not crazy sweet, but it's pretty, really good, really good. I mean, as you guys can see, the head cheese kind of looks like bacon now. Oh, yeah, that's true. Can't even really tell. As far as color-wise, this is looking nice. That little surprise I told you guys I was going to go in the middle, I personally like to have a fried egg on anything I put on. So I'm going to throw it on the bun meat pizza today as well. Ooh! All right, I got one egg ready to go. Ooh! Wait, oh! Oh, I told you. All right, so I never thought I'd be having a bun meat. Uh, pizza right here with that egg soda.
All right, players, the moment of truth. I present to you the Supreme Bun Me Pizza. Go ahead, y'all, grab your slices. Make sure right. it's a small one, because I want the big one. That flatbread was a really good substitute for the bun meat. Like, you put a lot of cheese on there. Like, that looks like a lot of cheese, but it's very subtle. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like hidden, almost. I really like how you got, like, crispiness of the bread. The meat is really crispy since you put it in the oven twice. This is hitting. I feel like everything kind of married very well together mm -hmm. as well, too. And I think the egg yolk was a nice little runny touch that yep. I had, too. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So while these guys are finishing up, we're definitely going to take care of our pizza and make sure we eat it. I want you guys to write down any types of ideas you guys want to see, any type of fusions you guys want to see us make. This is only the first episode for Munchie Meals with Chef Big Boy Johnny and Tan and Richie. Cheer up. Make sure you guys comment below. Make sure you guys share the video. Make sure you guys try making the pizza and leave a comment about how it turned Woo! out. Until next time, you guys, we're out. Peace. Peace. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out Munchie Meals with Chef Big Boy Johnny. Make sure you check out the video to your left. Check out the video to your right. Make sure you leave a comment below on what you want to see us cook next. Until next time, cheers.